Hello, members of the Central Minnesota Builders Association. My name is Joe Schulte. I teach construction technology at Sartell High School. I want to start by saying thank you for awarding us a $1,300 grant this year from the CMBA Tools for Schools program. Uh, it is much appreciated and the support goes beyond financials. Uh, we haven't been able to take, care, uh, take advantage of this grant in recent years just um, due to changeover in staffing and all kinds of realities. It's the first time we've applied for and gotten it in the last three or four years. So um, what are we doing and what are we going to do with it? I think those are the two questions. Currently we have eight sections of construction technology that complement a whole host of other tech ed classes. Uh, but that's the most we've had in a long time. And our construction one class, um, we focus on the basics of the construction industry uh, as an umbrella. We look at it as an industry uh, with some trade skills specific to rough carpentry. Um, this year we are on a hybrid model. So I see students two days out of the five in person. And in those two days, uh, we've been able to work on building the fall set play for our, um, our fall play radium girls. And we were able to get that done two weeks in advance. Um, in our advanced class, we have been working on putting steel on an exterior building, uh, tennis shed, tennis storage shed that was moved over from the old high school and putting more of a um, lifetime exterior on that. We also did a concrete project this fall. We managed to work that in on a, on a flexible Friday. Thanks to Knife River for knocking off the small load charge. It was a really good experience for our advanced construction students. Uh, we worked on finishing up a project uh, with our baseball and softball programs. We have dugouts that uh, needed benches, and so we built those benches through last winter and had to install them this spring. Uh, we've taken on a, a number of other small projects, um, anything from carpentry-related projects to some woodworking that we get into uh, using some reclaimed materials. And so we've been able to stay busy and do some uh, meaningful work in the, in the brief time that we've had together. While students are in distance, uh, while they're outside my classroom, uh, Construction One students have been working on a 1 12th scale, 8 foot by 12 foot storage shed. So uh, layout here again and uh, spacing, components of framing. Um, they're working on trusses right now, so they're building a simple 412 pitch truss. And uh, we work with tools like speed squares, Tape measures. You recording? Okay, good. This is Circular Saw 101. It's circular works. Saw test out. And we're doing a rip cut. Minimum of four feet. Okay, good. This is Bandsaw 101. This is Chop Saw 101. Technically, it should be called a compound miter saw. And actually, the ones in front of us are both sliding compound miter saws. So let's get into it. Right now, we're a probably reducing our curriculum anywhere from 25 to 50 percent, uh, just the overall experience. And I would like to say that we know where we're going in the future here, but right now that's relatively uncertain. As of this day, we don't know if we're moving to distance or hybrid, but by the time this airs, we will have made a decision for the foreseeable future. Um, where we're going with this program, I have made it known that I want to move to building a Habitat for Humanity home. Uh, next year. Uh, we have the sections to do it, we have the student interest to do it, and I want to aspire to that as a program and a district and a community. We have a space ready for that, and what we really need is to offer the course and run it, and what we also need is to get out of a pandemic scenario so we can have students in the building five days a week in order to get uh, as close to a real-life experience as possible in the trades. And I'm hopeful for that. Um, I still am and, and working towards that. But in the meantime, I do want to express thanks for those who have stepped up that I have reached out to. Um, BD Exteriors, Brian Denae, we've done a number of virtual field trips with him on site and in, within their company. Um, BCI, Dan Kurowski is a connection I had there. And he gave us a virtual tour of the Clear Lake Township Hall. Uh, we've also visited a site with W. Goman Construction last spring. They hosted all the teachers in the area for uh, an event uh, regarding uh, world's, be world's Best Workforce. And so I've used that in the classroom. And um, Steve Noble of Noble Custom Homes reached out actually through a student connection. And you know, everybody I've connected with has offered how can we support, how can we help. Uh, we, in addition to building this Habitat home, which will be a big undertaking for us, we have some in-house work that we could probably use a hand with or if people have some materials or ideas. 
Uh, we've got an outdoor yard, which is great when the weather allows to work in it, uh, but we could use some outdoor storage um, to keep some materials dry. We're, we're pretty tight on space on our indoor lab. So it'd be nice to create some outdoor storage, uh, a lean-to of sorts that looks appropriate. And I don't know if this comes through CMBA connections or, or if it's just the tools for schools and that's what we put funding towards. I know we need a shingle shear next year or it'd be nice to have one. Um, we're pretty set up to build this house, I believe, for equipment. Um, and I know that we need some raw materials at times just for students to work with and learn on and make mistakes on. Uh, so if there is some materials that we can round up um, that are seconds, drops, busted corners, you know, anything from OSB to two by fours, two by sixes, uh, maybe treated material would be great. Um, we can store materials outside right now and it's, it'd be nice to throw some of that at students. Um, I'm, I'm getting by and we're cutting up and burning up scrap, but just to have some channels for that. Uh, Simonson's has been great. We work with them directly on materials for the fall play and other projects um, and they're, they're generous where they can, but it's just, again, to keep us in the back of your mind that way. Um, I'll, I'll just add that we have an advisory board that we are always welcoming members onto. I try to encourage either members that live in the Sartell community or have a business here um, and are, are in the construction industry. So if it's something where you'd like to connect with me and you feel like you're passionate about it, I wanna help support this program in particular, and I've got this connection or this industry uh, experience, um, please reach out to me and do so. So um, sorry if this has gotten windy. Um, I'll close by saying thank you again for the support. Uh, we look forward to putting these funds towards growing and expanding our program in the next year. Thanks.